Here tonight with a developing story involving a local father who was beaten unconscious and the man who threw the punch walked away free. So why wasn't he charged? Nicole Grigg tonight taking on this story and tonight her questions resulting in changes. And we must warn you here, the pictures you're about to see are graphic. This picture is of my lip. Oh, it's split wide open. With his attorney by his side, Kyle Acevedo shows us pictures of his injuries. Four staples to the back of his head were blurring the six stitches to his lip, and he's been diagnosed with a concussion, so we're keeping bright lights off of him. When it happened, I actually woke up on the floor in blood of someone holding my head. He sat down with us after he claims the Pinellas County Sheriff's Office wouldn't arrest the man that knocked him unconscious at the Chickaboom Room in Dunedin. It's just frustrating that um, I have to force the police to actually do their job. Instead of arresting the suspect, deputies offered the suspect a diversion program called the Adult Pre-Arrest Diversion, or APAD for short. That means the suspect must admit to a crime, then he doesn't face jail time or a record. I want this guy to go to jail for what he did. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that it's a crime. Kyle's lawyer says he has severe injuries and that automatically doesn't qualify for that diversion program. The sheriff's office says the suspect was uncooperative that night and transported himself to the hospital. They're now planning to present the case to the state attorney's office on aggravated battery charges. In Dunedin, Nicole Gregg, ABC Action News.